Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Cole Allgood here, aka The Suburban Ginger, and we are bringing you another career mode video on the golf club. Oh, I'm sorry, PGA 2K21 from 2K Sports and HB Studios. And we're gonna jump right in. This is round two of the Q School Final. Set this up for two rounds. The Suburban Ginger was three under in the first round. His uh, avatar, oh, look those pants people you know he's the best dressed guy on pga 2k21 no doubt about that we're gonna go straight down to the first tee as you guys remember i was three under in round one set this up as a multi-round event i am playing on the pro settings and the ai opponent uh, difficulty level is normal and if i play a few more rounds i'll get an actual handicap i think i haven't played this much it's definitely a different experience from uh the golf club 2019 if you guys like the content you know what to do leave me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel post your comments and follow me on social media at all the normal places at suburban ginger here we go Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. Oh yeah. It's time to get underway, so let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Let's do Please, it. Please, you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as this next golfer begins the day, what are you thinking about their chances? Look, this player starts off the final round a couple behind the lead. And let's face it, they need to have some inspiring golf out there today. Inspiring. They need to make birdies early and often if they want to chase down that leader. It sets up for a very exciting final round. Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing what this player does today. Let's see if he will be, in fact, inspiring. He's he shot inspired three wood off the first tee of TPC Louisiana, right in the middle of the fairway. Playing from around 150 yards here. Straight down wind. Here. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. See if he can run it back there. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Got a little fast with it. Uh, that's out to the right for sure. Oh, get down. Ugh. Misstep there. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. And here we are with the third shot. This is going to require a deft touch out of the rough. Going for the bump and run, the low road. And that wound up okay. Decent chance for par. Par putt coming up here. It would be nice for him to start off with a par. He bogeyed this hole in the first round. Ah. Good putt that. Solid, solid four to start his day. Currently at minus three for the event. It's a big old alligator over there. You see that? Matthew Carpenter, seven under. He is the leader. Time to tee off at the second. Definitely a birdie hole here if he gets off to a good start. He struck that well. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Give me it. <laughs> it wouldn't give me the the three bills. That's okay. Didn't quite catch all the three wood. That might be bunker bound. As it is. Players sitting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. They made bogey on this hole yesterday, and right now they are staring at the same number, right square between the eyes. Oh boy. Rich Beam pulling no punches. He's flown it way out there. Too far. Way, way too far. This would be a great up and down. Another chance to get up and down here. Going with a chip, the lob wedge. That's pretty good touch right there, Rich. Didn't look. that look good for a long time? Mm -hmm. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Gotta say. His short game is phenomenal. And down it goes. 
Holding steady at three under for the tournament, even par for the day. He's currently tied for 12. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Okay. Take a little bit off of this one here. With the five wood. Looks like they've got the five wood. Blow it, wind. Blow it. Oh, not quite. Ugh. Well, a little off the target with that one. And coming up well short. Short-sided himself again. We need to uh, have some good touch here. Oh, he just put that into the bank. No such luck. Getting ready to play their third. That one checks up as well. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. A disappointing bogey at best here. Now, oh, he's that pushed hurts. it. A double. And this next putt here is for a double bogey. That's well hold. That one just sneaks in. A double on the third. Disappointing for all good. Currently one under for the event. Short game was one of the things that saved the tee is yours. in the first round. Here we round. are at the fourth hole. He was not hitting the ball well off the tee. Short game was saving him. Seems as if the roles have reversed That's the today. swing only a mother could love there, Luke. Ooh, this one's on a dangerous line. Very dangerous. Ooh. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, they're locked out here. I mean, they did get into some deep rough, but the lie ended up being not too, too bad. This lie is ugly. I'm gonna hack it out. That will just stay on the right side of the fairway. I have to scramble oh, again to get up and down. Just get it back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Here we go. Little uh, 50 yard pitch here. And he's judged the distance very well. Let's see if he can make this. And keep the par on the card. This one's looking good. Oh, very wonderful nice. effort. Confirms the par. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Matthew Carpenter just getting his day underway. Par is the first, still seven under, the mark to beat. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. That's heading into the rough, I think. Bit quick with the drive. And it does just move into the rough. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Hack it out with three wood here. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Oh, no. Oh, and that's in the big bunker. No, that's not the shot they wanted. Never easy playing out of those fairway bunkers. Keep your focus. Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. Definitely doable, but not with a shot like that. Well, safe on the surface. Maybe it's time to hold a long range bomb. Long range bomb. He has this putt to save his par. Oh my gosh. Slow down, baby. Slow down. Woo. Okay, slow down now. Easy, That's enough. Easy, easy. This next part is for bogey. Trying to get out of here with a bogey. If it's up, it could be in. Ah. Yep. Well, hold for bogey. So it drops down to even there. Three over on the front. Now seven shots behind after that. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Going to have to be a few under par here today if he wants to get his status on the Corn Ferry Tour. 
Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Up the right-hand side, just into the rough. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Ooh, heavy rough here. I have to play it safe, I think. Going with a three wood here. Just muscles it out as best as he can. It scoots on down the fairway. And that shot back in the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Now his driver is getting him in trouble again. Pump fake. This one on the way, but it checks up. And that's going to be an interesting par putt there. Still not done moving. Uh, not good. Not good. Right, John. How's this putt looking? Well, this putt is looking at to be about 23 feet. 23 feet for par. Coming down the hill. It never did. Just hung up there. Yeah, a bit long on that one. Four feet to the cup. There it is. And down it goes for consecutive bogeys. Two and bogeys black in a row. Never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. Mm -hmm. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Into the wind the here on this Coming five. off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Well, now you just got to pray for good luck because that one's heading towards the sand. Ugh. Can't get this right. That's in the sand. Cannot well, look, they right. birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. Trying to get it back in play. Up and over the tree. There it goes. Okay, let's put the next one on. Come on. Got to start making some birdies. Oh, that was a good strike. It was pretty well played out of the fairway bunker. And here we are with the third shot back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. And just hoisted Ooh, up like back I there, horsey. Oh. A little too much. A little too much mustard. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Need some momentum. Goodness. That one... It's bad. It's bad. This is their fifth shot. Ugh. Just put this. Ooh, right by the hole. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And just about eight feet left to the hole. It's all going wrong today, folks. It's all going wrong today. Just oh. didn't drop. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Should being the opposite. It's half word. a chance of being home, this one. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you'll take that. Three over now. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. Not good. Not we have good a par at four all. on this one. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Right. Oh, the fried egg. That's ugly. Any chance of getting out of this bunker? No, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. Kick forward. It did. All right. A green in regulation. Oh, we did it. Well... Out of the bunker and onto the green, but still a fair bit of effort to go here. Oh, good look at a birdie here. We need it. We need a birdie. Give me one there. No. Ooh. Good lag, though. You can make good this lag. one. It's for par. And well hold. Let's move no. on. Just pump the brakes.
Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. All right. Need a few, need a few birdies, though. Need a few birdies. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Going with the five wood. Mm. Maybe needed a better club from the caddy. It's a bit strong, this. A little too much mustard on that one. Uh, it's a little wayward. Greens and regulation today has been absolutely abysmal, and that is reflective on their scorecard. True enough, Richard. That one's come out nicely. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Good touch. Good touch. Let's get a par. Nicely done. Big par saver coming up for this fella. Need it. Need the big par saver. Mm, nice line. Hey. Well done. No more drop shots. 42 on the front is terrible. And as we head over to the 10th oh, hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Luke, this is the spot where you either fail or shine. Mm. And I got to say, nine holes left to put themselves in the top 50 to make it on the Corn Ferry Tour. Failing is definitely an option for this player. Yeah, it's true. It's not great. Let's put the driver in the bag. Going with a three wood here. Sitting at three over. Just trying to hit it on the green now. And choosing the eight iron here. It's come out pretty well. well. It's on a great line. Surface. Good it's shot there. though. Ah, it just rolls through. Just rolls through. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Yeah, this isn't a great leave, is it, Richard? But he chips up. <laughs> Should make his four. That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And in it goes okay. for the par. Right, we can get a couple of birdies here. We can. Sitting at three over for the event. Alex Ang of China in the clubhouse at nine under. Anthony Daniels also at nine under, but still in the front nine. Teeing off here at the 11th. Downwind par five. This is a must birdie hole for him. This one should find the rough. Yet another rough spot. Big drive. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. Now that he's hacked that out and put himself in a decent position to go for the green with his third. Hopefully hit it close to make a birdie. That's a good looking shot there. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Yes, and let's hope it's not a similar result as yesterday. Going with the nine iron, I think. Come on, sit. That's a long way back there. That a boy. Good shot. Hey, thank you. Take that. This is from miles away. Didn't hit it. Go, baby. Go, baby. Hang on. Woo! That was a gallant attempt. He gave it everything. Just a four footer remaining. There we go. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Still looking for that first birdie Currently of the day. Plus three for the event. Plus three. I gotta be down right Getting now. off here on the 12th hole. Start playing for this cut. For this pull that I've been having. There this one's go. looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. A little aggression out with that one. My dog skips over here in the room. I don't know. 
big long approach. He's gonna have a five iron, trying to work it in from the left. Going with the five iron here. And he's trying to work it over too uh, much from the left. That's going right. Coming off the hill there. Get lucky. Hey, I'll take the fringe. I'll take the fringe. Getting there. ready to play their third. We're gonna put this bad boy. Here we go. One time. Mm. Oh, Dude, that line the was looking good, wasn't it? Well, oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Gonna need to sink this one. Good stroke. Yes. Yep. Right. Nice to make a mid-range par putt. Yes, indeedy. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. This hole here is a par four. Running out of holes, folks. It's getting near nitty gritty time. That one's heading down Broadway. Didn't sound like it caught all of it, but it is safely in the fairway. From about 130 yards here. Okay. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Pull out your best Bob Seeger and go against the wind. Okay. Choosing the 9-iron so here. Come over. Come this over. one needs to kick left. Can't hit a green to save Not my life. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Mm -hmm. This would be a great up and down from this spot. And that's good touch. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Crafty. Judging it beautifully. Putting for par. And there we go. Okay, let's head to the next. Still plus three. Got five to play. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Gotta make it's a time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Got to make a birdie here somewhere. Opting for the three wood. He has hit a laser of a three wood there. It's looking good. Wow, wow what looking a shot. great. What a shot. Well, that's beautifully judged. It could be shot of the day Six for him. Remaining to the cup. And just inside right for birdie. Okay, steady now. Big putt for par coming up. Oh, you hit the shot of the day and you missed the birdie putt. Mm. Job done. Let's head to the next. Not good. Come on. Four to go. And with that effort, two now three over for the tournament. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. Okay. Big, big par four here. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Just trying to poke it out there. There we go. Second shot here on the 15th. I can't even reach a par four and two. I have to go drive her off the deck here. The interesting choice of the driver here. He did. He's just trying to get it there. Go, baby. It does. Trundle, got a trundle, getting better all the time. Yeah, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Okay, time to make one. Here we go. For bird. <laughs> you did it! The putt drops. Ha <laughs> ha! Heading down the stretch. From long range, baby! That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Oh, show it again. Corn Ferry Tour replay. Excuse me. This could be the one that gets him on the Corn Ferry Tour. From way downtown, folks, that is 35 feet of beauty. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. All right, tie for 49th. Welcome Maybe to one this more hole. birdie would That's be a uh, make me feel a little better. Uh, 
we're not doing that. We're going to stay right here. I'm going to hit this five wood. That reminded me of the big easy. Silky smooth. There we go. We're feeling silky smooth now. Second shot here on the 16th. Trying to hit another one close here. Wedge in hand. Going with the pitching wedge here. Now check. Okay, back of the green. Not so bad. But not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple Enough. of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Outside chance here for the birdie. Pretty flat as it gets down to the hole. Here we go. Get in. Hang on. Another one. <laughs> back to back bombs. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the Reaching video. down deep inside for that special stuff. You can tell he wants this, folks. He's zoned in, locked in. 35 feet on the last hole and 30 feet on this hole. Back to back birdies. Now, our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. Logan moves up to a tie for 46th. Anthony Daniels is taking the lead Part at 10 under. He's always offer up that hope of a hole in one. I think I'm getting a hole in one here. You are smoking something. Here we go. Opting for the five wood. He's a chance to get well. under par here if he can just keep the bogeys off the card. Kind of fade to the left. I know it slopes that way. Okay. We're on the green, maybe three in a row. You well, never well know. Played. Seems satisfied. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Mm -hmm. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Could it be? Three in a row, folks. It was on a good line. If that's the right pace. This should run. Oh! <laughs> he was that close. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. That close to three in a row. And that puddle drop. Well done. There we go. Sitting at one over for the event. All right, a birdie on 18. Right. You got it. One more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. He's absolutely uh, it's hitting the rough for one. mine. That looks like one of his most confident swings of the day. It just gets in the first cut. Ah, look at him hanging his head. Come on. What do I have to do? This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Yes, difficult lie. Made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. Bump fake. And he hits it out. Just trying to get it back in play. And he does. That's it. It's okay. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. All right, folks. Just trying to put it on and make a putt. Going with the eight iron here. Now that was a great looking swing. And it's on a pretty good line. It's got to go, though. And it just does trickle on. Good shot there. He's already made a few birdies today. And this is another good look. Be great to finish with a birdie. This putt for a final score of 75. Or 75 on day two. Not great. But could be enough. Oh, Let how does that not go? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. 76. And with that, this Here. player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. We did it, baby. Congratulations <laughs> to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. All right, if you say so, Rich. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Bean. And on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. Well, as you can see, guys, the Suburban Ginger has secured Corn Ferry Tour uh, membership by the skin of his teeth. 
he finishes tied for 46th at Q School. And uh, 50 or better was what he needed. Tied for 46th. He just gets in there. But we're leveling up. And we're getting some sweet looking shorts. Which I will not wear. And we got 215 currency. Okay. I have a handicap now. I'm plus 0.1. I'm just a little better than Scratch. Hopefully we can bring that down. Or up. Make it more plus. More plus means better. As we go along. Q school is done. Which means we're going to... The Corn Fairy Tour! Cold Dog has ended this season on a high note, having earned a promotion to the Corn Fairy Tour. I'm ecstatic with this result, Colt said when asked how they feel. Nobody asked me. There's our objectives. We gotta win three events, or finish in the top 25 in the points rankings, or at least finish in the top 75. Let's see if we can work our way up to the PGA Tour. We're gonna go to four rounds because we need to. The first event on the Corn Fray Tour is gonna to be the Corn Fray Tour opener at the TPC Deer Run. You guys are gonna to have to come back and see that next time. You all know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a thumbs up. Post your comments down below. Follow me on social media. And as always, get this game and just keep swinging.